Where are all the other guests? I mean, I can see the luggage and everything, but I can't really see... Left or right, what do you think? Oh, I can't tell. Maybe, maybe left. More luggage. Who else is coming? Ah, I see. This looks like it could be an exit that we're going to have to use. I remember this. This is crazy. This is so crazy. I have a feeling we need to pick up something from what isn't currently a 3D object. We have to go and find the correct vantage point. Somehow. There we go. And then it becomes a 3D object. This is so good. <gasps> oh man. It doesn't happen very often that people really innovate game design. This is just so cool. Alrighty. Is this the thing we may use as an exit thing here? Maybe? Kind of like this, maybe? Yes, look at that! <laughs> What's next? Another one of those things. What's this? Is this something exciting? I'm not sure. This looks like it's just something sticking out. Oh, another one of these things. Ah. And all it is, it's just, it's drawn on the wall. So it's a two dimensional texture at this point. Still looks like there's something missing. That we're not looking through something like I don't really know maybe we need to put it in place could that be look at the vase standing from the other side of the table with the yellow tablecloth the va like this vase here this vase oh oh right right uh like that. Somehow. Ah, there we go. <laughs> that made that two-dimensional image go onto this table, creating a 3D image. And now this is the thing that fills in that cube, right? I'm thinking. Because now we do that and... Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. And this is also not actually a cube. This is just <laughs> something made up. Whoops. I've destroyed it already. Whoops. <laughs> Looks like a cube. Totally isn't a cube. <sighs> oh, man. I could play puzzle games like this literally all the time. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, this will help us just jump up here. I'm thinking, yes. Oh, wow. Thank you for the help. I appreciate that. Oh, what's next? Oh my god. I shudder to think what's next. Uh, yes. That looks like drawn on. Who works these puzzles out? That's the other thing I want to know. Who does that? And just when you've solved one, that's the next one you're going to have to wrap your head around. Can I just pick this up and take it with us just in case we need it? Will we? I'm, I, I'm not sure. I have a feeling we might. And just go have a look upstairs here on some of the... Whoops. Just on the top here, see if there's anything there. <laughs> Exit. What skewed perspective might this suggest? Mm, there's nothing here. <laughs> yes, me too. I wonder if we're going to find out. I mean, I've not really researched 
much of the behind the scenes stuff because everyone who develops puzzle games including David Bord uh, who is making Lifeless Moon right now they always say you know what it's perception is reality that's not what they say but they always say designing good puzzles is literally the hardest thing to do and now it's a door that is unbelievable and now it's a door that was not there before quite clearly <laughs> mind blown <laughs> <laughs> 